Hello, and welcome to Zelle. This is the first in a series of videos on getting started with Zelle Core, the multi-asset encrypted wallet and platform dedicated to everything crypto. This video will take you through creating a new account and customizing Zelle Core. To begin, get your copy of Zelle Core at zellcore.io by clicking on the download link and choosing the correct operating system for your computer. In this example, I will be using the Windows version. Once you have finished the installation process, an icon will appear on your desktop. Simply double-click this icon to open up Zellcore. Upon opening Zellcore, you will be presented with the login screen. And before we create our account, there are two items worth mentioning. The first, in the bottom right-hand corner, is the translation. Currently it is set to English, which is the default. However, we have several different translations which you can choose to further personalize your instance of Zellcore. The other option here is the proxy button, which allows you to tunnel your internet connection through one of several other locations throughout the world. So if you're unable to access Zellcore locally, perhaps you can set one of these proxies and be able to access your account through that proxy. We also have quick links to GitHub, Twitter, Reddit, and Discord so you can stay on top of the latest Zelle news. Now we're ready to set up our account. If this is your first time using Zelle Core, then you'll want to click the Register Account Locally button. We're now presented with a few fields to enter our username and password. A brief note on how this system works. When we enter our username and password combination, Zellcore uses that unique combination to create a hash, which then is used to create the wallet addresses for every asset within Zellcore. What this means is the username and password combination you choose will be forever connected to the wallet addresses stored within Zellcore. Consequently, you'll never be able to change your password. So we encourage all Zellcore users to choose a unique username and a strong password, being sure to copy that password down so that you never forget it or lose access to your crypto. Let's go ahead and set up our first account. I'm gonna use Zellcore test 102. Then type in a secure password using the color-coded ribbon to help you determine password strength. Ideally, a green bar indicates a strong password. Verify it by typing it in again. And when you are ready, click on register account locally. This warning message repeats what I said earlier that there's no way to retrieve your password or change it. So please take this opportunity to write your password down and store it in a safe place. When you're ready to register, click on the I'm aware register button. And we have a confirmation that our new account has been registered. Now we can log in for the first time using our new username and password combination and then click the login button. And now we have unique wallet addresses for every asset you can store in Zellcore. If we were to click on our Zellcash wallet, You'd see we have at the top here a button where we could choose wallet one, wallet two, or wallet three. And if we want to see that individual address, we could click on the receive button here and have our QR code or our Zelle Cash wallet address. Now let's suppose we want to customize our instance of Zellcore. What we could do is click on the settings icon in the bottom left and then click on appearance. And here you can choose from one of several different types of currency. So if you're in Europe and you're using the Euro, you could switch that. Once again, you can change your language to whichever is best for you. You can also change your avatar. And you can change your background. Now we can see my avatar has been changed to the Zelle logo and my background has been personalized. Now let's suppose we'd like to add a few more wallets to our portfolio. All we'd have to do is click the My Assets button here and click on Add Assets. Go ahead and add a couple of popular coins here, Ravencoin, throw Horizon up there. And then down in the ERC20 we have Binance, 
got Maker here, Zero X, Zillica, maybe some Kyber, KuCoin, EthOS. And now you can see all of our assets have been added to the portfolio. And depending on the balance that we have for each of these wallets, you'll see that displayed very clearly up top. If you'd like to remove an asset, just go back to the My Assets button and click on Hide Assets. And then we can go ahead and take off a few of these. That's all for this video on how to set up a new Zellcor account and customize your instance of Zellcor. Stay tuned for the next video where we will be taking a look at Zell ID and how to create a new decentralized two-factor authentication pin to further secure your assets. We hope you found this video helpful and we look forward to continuing to develop the most secure and easy to use crypto platform available.